Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe, like and share. Thanks a lot. Hi guys, as we commemorate Easter, the death and resurrection of Jesus, we humbly bow and reflect the sufferings of Jesus for his love to humanity. Sa pilgrimage kung ito sa Holy Land, pupunta natin ang journey ni Jesus Christ, the way of His sufferings. Tara, samahan niyo akong puntahan natin ang mga significant places of Jesus' journey ngayong Easter. Side, you can see the church on the top of Mount Zion. Mm. We are going there. This is a Scottish uh, church to the left side. Mm -hmm. And in front of you, the first Jewish neighborhood after uh, uh, oh, yeah. outside the walls. Mm. All Jerusalem was inside the walls mm -hmm. until 1860. It became too much crowded inside, a lot of diseases, so people decided But uh, 100, uh, more than 150 years, 160 years ago, they decided to, uh, many families, to go outside the uh, walls. First, the Christians did it. After
the Cenacle Room at Mount Zion, Jerusalem, the place where the Last Supper and the coming of Holy Spirit on the Apostles. Sometimes building collapse and you rebuild it. So it was rebuilt by the crusaders. And you can see their styles. You see the arcs, how they cross each other. It is the crusaders style. It was rebuilt, as we see, by them. Under this room, the crusaders put the tomb of King David. So here, under this room, the crusaders put the tomb of King David. So it, was re it is the location, the exact location. But it was rebuilt by the crusaders as you can see from the side. And under this room, there is a group of people. So, when we finish... At papasok tayo dito para bisitahin ang tomb of King David. We are advised to segregate ourselves, men on the other side. Hindi kami magkasama. Lalaki, babae. Women first.
And inside that valley, we have the Getsemane Garden. Getsemane. So we are going to walk the Palm Sunday Road. You see pilgrims down there? Uh -huh. yeah. Palm Sunday Road. We will stop in Dominus Flavit Church, where he predicted the direction of death will start from Mount Olives. Naglalakad kami sa Palm Sunday Road. Is the biblical road that Jesus followed when he entered Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. We are in the Garden of Olives, Gethsemane. We are in the Garden of Olives, Gethsemane. This is the Garden of Gethsemane at the foot of Mount of Olives in Jerusalem where Jesus underwent the agony and was arrested the night before the crucifixion. The Church of All Nations, also known as Basilica of the Agony, located on the Mount of Olives in the East Jerusalem, next to the Garden of Gethsemane. It surrounds a section of bedrock where Jesus is said to pray before his arrest.
And now, we are here in the Church of St. Peter in Galicanto, a Roman Catholic Church located on the eastern slope of Mount Zion. The Church takes its name Galicanto, meaning Rooster Crow. This is in commemoration of Peter's tribal rejection of Jesus. On this site, the palace of Caipas and that Jesus may have been imprisoned in one of these underground crypts after his arrest. Via Dolorosa, translated as the way of the cross or sufferings of Jesus. It represents the path that Jesus would have taken, forced by Roman soldiers on the way to his crucifixion.
nang ibaba si Jesus sa cross, dito siya pinahiga at hinugasan bago ilibing. The most holy, sacred place na papasuki namin yung tomb nilibingan ni Jesus. No technology allowed. God be the glory. I am so blessed to reach this place. It was an overwhelming feeling to touch Jesus' tomb. Inside the Holy Sepulchre, we heard Mass officiated by Father Johan Dumandan. Father Johan Dumandan is also our initiator, coordinator, and leader of our pilgrimage. It was an amazing, unforgettable spiritual journey. Please don't forget to subscribe Pinay Norwegian Vlogs. To God be the glory.